Pretty good. Good. Did you stay warm? Well, at first I was cold because you know we we're outside for a while, right? And and so I had to kind of curl up a little bit, and kind of bring my my knees up to my chest a little bit to because those tootsies were chilly. Because <laughs> I was just wearing shoes last night, you know, by the fire. I wasn't wearing no, I was wearing these, but whatever. I was cold. So. Uh, but then I woke up in the middle of the night and I was warm. Good. Because my tent warmed up. Good. And I, I warmed up in my sleeping bag. And... It always takes a little bit of, you know, because of the atmospheric pressure and temperature stuff, to get this thing dialed in, right? Mm. So I was messing with the remote for a while. Okay. Then I found that sweet spot that I thought was pretty comfortable with. Mm -hmm. so, but what it'll do is it'll, it'll run for a while on kind of a, a, a slow, temp or, slow or lower temp then it'll ramp up and it'll just blast heat i like for, those moments for a minute or two you yeah. know kind of like home you know exactly like home time. exactly like home it reminded me of sitting of waking up when i was a boy yep. and going over by the the heat register yes and just curling up there and my dad would always say don't hog the heat <laughs> the cats would always go by those things too and then i i even the the time before this it pumped on because it's pumped on right now I think and it's blowing some air out or at least it was a second ago. Uh -huh. um, the time before this, I just shoved it right in my sleeping bag. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Maybe it's not coming out a lot now. No, it's just coming out. But when it was because it blows out you know in stages like you said. Right. Last time it was blowing out, I just took it right uh, right down my chest right into my sleeping bag. Oh yeah, it 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 warmed. Uh, like you you can get chilled to the bone, and you can get warm to the bone. Right. You only went through one third of a tank of fuel. So, it's good for three nights. Yeah, I mean, in these temps, when it's colder out, I'd be filming at about eight a.m. Oh. And you don't want these to run out of fuel because they. Uh, have to go through a whole priming mm. thing. Mm. Kind of mm. Anywho, let's get some coffee on. So you've got some kind of pump, water pump in there? Yeah. Oh, and that's your, that's your seven gallons of water right behind the passenger seat? Seven gallons of water is in there. That's drinking water. This is just... This will be coming out soon because it'll freeze. So, but in the summer, this is my rinse kit. So, just for doing dishes and stuff. What's the inverter for? Um, for plugging in. I've got a couple of uh, one ten outlets. So this is for, and, and this all runs off the car battery. I have two, no, I have two um, 100 amp hour lithium batteries in, right in here. In fact, I can show you real quick here. Sorry we woke you. It's 200 amp hours of power, so that'll that'll keep you off grid for a while without the sun. So. And then I did notice the solar panel on the on the hood. On the hood, mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. So that's been real nice. So you can only do so much off of a car battery. Yeah, the car battery is just. I tried to leave that alone and not use any of the energy off of that. So I've got a pretty nice charging system in here that kind of tends to all the batteries and the draw is coming off of these batteries for the most part for everything I use. How do you recharge them? Well it charges when the car is running okay. through the alternator and it charges the whole system through the solar panel. 
problem with Minnesota winters is so. Oh, my knee, my, go grab my pants. <laughs> Sleep good? Yeah. Good. Great. Awesome. So, um, winter is, is pretty pretty poor for solar production. So, oh, yeah. what I'll do is I'll just uh, start my truck up and let it charge that way. Mm -hmm. it's, it's got a high put output alternator I put in. So, how do you know when it's running low? Um, I've got a I've got a battery readout on my phone as well as oh. right at the back here. So if I look here, I've got eighty five point nine uh, state of charge. So you know eighty five point nine percent charged right now. So <laughs> on those two, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we got plenty of power. And that refrigerator, is it an electric or is it just a cooler? It's electric. Yep, it's a 12 volt refrigerator. <clears throat> Which you probably don't need now, huh? Probably don't. Well, you know, I'll just leave it unplugged, I guess. But um, when the car's out. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man. Well, that's good that you slept good. And you, you you had your uh, maiden voyage in your new little tent there. Good. Are you a side sleeper? I can't. You sleep in a lazy boy? Well, then you're a back sleeper. Oh, okay. So I need to get some water, Brandon. A little bit of wood left from our fire, I guess. Oh, yeah. I think we got plenty for another day. Oh yeah. I would I would think so. Plenty of wood. This is a kit designed to be on top of this? Yeah. Yeah, this is more of a backpacker's type mm -hmm. stove. And then you'll press the coffee through this? Yes. Got my Kirkland here from Costco. Mm -hmm. Is that instant coffee? No. It's not, it's grounds. It's grounds, yep. And I like it a little dark, a little strong. Well, you're out here living off the land, <laughs> kind of. You're sleeping out, outdoors. Oh, I forgot a belt. Yeah. So I'm gonna be pulling up my pants, pants a lot, like going like a fat man. Yeah. <laughs> well, like the bears, put on an extra layer for the winter. Right. So does Patrick. No problem doing that. So does X Venture Outdoors. <laughs> have any audio with sure okay. but this is just such a good yeah just look at the delicate um, snowflake cloud it's such a setting isn't it that kind of tells me how cold it is without a thermometer without having to look at your phone yeah it's tranquil out here yeah it gives you that space to I think allow myself to realize that eternal right yeah and out here, you're kind of forced to be alone with your feelings, to sit with them, you know. Well, now the flakes are starting to slow down a little bit. I'll hide my sleeve. Man.
smile. Now you're on a cooking show. Yeah. Do they have outdoor cooking shows? I'm sure they do. They always have in studio cooking shows. So you're going to heat up the syrup? Yes. Yes, indeed. All right, so let's get a flipper, a little flipper here. Yeah, the advantage of bringing your vehicle with all this equipment in it is that you don't have to rely on uh, trail mix and right. Yeah. Uh, you can actually those, have a those, good those, meal. Those, those meals in a bag. You can actually have a real meal. I love cooking, so. Even without a kitchen sink? Even without a kitchen sink, yep. You get all these dishes dirty. Yeah, cleanup's not the best. I usually assign that duty to whoever's camping with me. Good thing I'm filming. <laughs> Dried hash browns should be boat ready. No water seeping out, so that's a good sign. How did you get that so hot? Huh? What did you put hot you just water? Just put boiling water in there and let it sit for about eight minutes. that you made it. I wish I would have caught a shot live, but now you're not, you're not worried about attracting wild animals? No. Wolves and bears when no, you start I'll, cooking I'll the bacon? This. I'll do this in the summer too. Can you imagine being a bear and smelling the bacon? Oh that I've would had be a, I've had them come up, you gotta scare them off, you know. You're serious? Huh? Serious? Oh yeah. You've had come. bears come up while you're cooking? Oh yeah. Absolutely. Tell me a story. Well, it was at a different location. It wasn't like this where you have these buildings. It was more off the road too. Yeah, yep. but he was probably a good 50 yards from me. Coming my way, just following the scent trail. And I just <clears throat> kind of admired him for a minute. And then I just started clanging pots and pans and he ran off. You didn't run up to your tent freaked out? No, no. You didn't lay the food out for him to eat and then just say, leave me alone, just take the food? I'm not really scared of black bears. Brown bears, that, that freaked me out. Brown bears are the killing machines. But there's none of them around. None of them around here, yeah. No. I just still can't believe that I got this bacon for as cheap as I did. Shout out to High V. Yep. Dial these down a little bit. Don't want to burn your breakfast, you guys. I'm just amazed at how you get everything connected. Like in what way? Well, like you've got the is the is the propane coming through this little narrow tube here? Yes. Just this little narrow mesh metal. Yep. And, and and starting back here. Yep. I did a quick connect system. And so, how do you fill the propane? How do you even get back there? So that wing matches the contour of the vehicle. I cut those out and they're hinged. So you can lift that up and then I can... You can pull that out. Pull it straight out, yep. And then you drill the hole into the side of the wood wall of the drawer? Yeah, and if you look underneath there, you'll see how it all kind of comes together under there. Because we all love salt. Wow. Salt is the number one flavor enhancer in America. Right? The American Salt Council thanks you. <laughs> well, let's not... Pepper short. comes in in a close second. 
<laughs> Crispy hash browns coming up. We got a ways to go. And you said you're making pancakes? Somehow. Or that's another morning. Somehow. No, I've got the batter all whipped up, so. What's that? Clicking. That's the flame on the burner. Whoops. Still getting used to which which direction is up and down. What's up right now? Is this? No. I mean, I've only used it a half dozen times. And I mean, you guys, I'm amazed you found everything that worked so well together. Yeah. Like you had to have found this burner at just the right yes, width. Exactly. Or it wouldn't have fit. Yep. Yeah, it took a lot of measuring. A lot of just conceptualizing, was this, measuring. Was this something you were doing for, for a long, long time after work on weekends? Yes, yes. Like a mad scientist a tinkering in his lab? Yeah. Because I had no, I'm your friend. I had no idea you were doing any of this. Well, you better follow me on Instagram. Were you doing this on Instagram? Oh. Building this? Oh, yeah. Yep. So people would comment saying, hey, thanks. I, that, thanks for the tip. Now I can do that. Yeah, you would get a lot of people that just watch, they want you to do all the think, thinking. You know, yeah. they want all the specs and everything so, so they're asking that you all they these can questions. just quick throw one together, you know. People I, don't, would prefer I don't operate to, that way. People would prefer to just buy the system. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's, yeah, that's true. Like, can you just buy a truck with all this in there already? Not yeah. really, no. Well, there are Overland Outfitters that do outfit vehicles. Yes, that's all they do. Yeah. You know, I mean. But you built your own. I will tell you that a drawer system like this would cost probably upwards of five thousand dollars so i saved myself a ton of money by doing it myself mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah they are not cheap and of course it's all for naught if the vehicle isn't in good shape yeah so well, you have I, to really maintain the truck. Exactly. Like the engine cannot go out on this thing. Yeah. Or you're it's, in trouble. It's all, I mean, a lot of this stuff can be moved to another vehicle, but like the roof rack is custom to this vehicle. That is custom to this drawer system is custom to this vehicle. The bumpers. So really, I mean, when this thing croaks, I'll be stripping parts off and selling them. If it's even worth doing so. I mean, you know, Minnesota winters shoot right through this metal stuff. So. How long have you had this system up and running like this? This, I think, was completed close to spring this year. So not super it's long. Winter, spring. You haven't been using this vehicle and this system of drawers and stuff for years. Well, I've used different setups, different drawer systems. I had my first system built, which was just garbage compared to this. And that was a tall system that came all the way up to here. And then I, uh, you know, used that for a season and <clears throat> improved upon it and built my own drawer system. In the same vehicle? Yep. How long have you had this tr truck? Since 2015, 2016, I want to oh, say. Oh, okay. It was a lease return from Nissan. Mm -hmm. And it only had, I think, 15,000 miles on it when I bought it. Mm. That. So... Mm. There will be no refunds on breakfast, so if you don't like it, you're screwed. <laughs>
Dude, how'd you do it? How'd you do it? Was it the flower power? No, no, no. Come on, dude. Come on, man. I mean, I just thought it was kind of neat to see it's cold out, right? Nights are getting to 30. And this little survivor here, all by its lonesome. Yeah. So I figured I'd carry it because you kind of transfer power from, from plant to human. We think... You know, flowers represent the kind of beauty, uh, the kind of power that is a delicate, uh, like the river over a rock. Yeah. But you're like, no, 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 no. This beauty is hardy. This flower is a hardy power. flower power. Isn't just outlasting war and showing love over evil. It's also like straight up oomph power. Right, give me a hug. Right? <laughs> give me a hug. Proving. What a go, you just, you just killed the flower that supported the bees and takes care of it. Well, the bees are gone, I think. These are like picture perfect. Oh, really? You saw a moth last Hungry Jack. You saw a moth last night. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Where did they were, that thing come from? They were flying around in the shelter. I think it came out of my pen. Probably. <laughs> Damn. The Chinese what do you got going over here? Just... We started out with a little bacon and we then we went into the Bathed in bacon grease with a touch of butter. I'm really envy of everyone viewing this. His moths are taking over the You can't. You know what my dad would say? Hmm. You can't get food like this at a restaurant. Hey, feel the weight of these. Give him 10 bucks and eat them all. <laughs> Alright, let's go over, over to the table. You might want to dish up with, with the hash browns and stuff here, too. You want tarp? Actually, let's keep it right here and we can just sit on lap, lap feed. Yeah, I was going to say, on the table, do you want a tarp over there? I you're gonna, tarp actually, you know what? We're going to need the table because you're going to have to have a separate plate. Let's get a tarp. I'll put a tarp on the table. Okay, perfect. 